So I came home the other night and I do what I do every night, watch my own Quitna videos to boost the views, and I noticed a comment. So somebody asked if we could do something about aggregation versus inference. Well V, I got you fam, let's do it. All right, V, I bet you're studying for the CSSP exam. And within CSSP, I bet you're reviewing domain eight. And within domain eight, I bet you're studying databases because these are two ways for attackers to glean more information from databases than they're supposed to. So let's not even do a question. Let's just do a short lesson on aggregation versus inference. Let's start with aggregation. Aggregation is when you pool or add or aggregate a whole bunch of disparate information and when you pull it together, it reveals something sensitive or something you're not supposed to know, all right? So how you actually pull and get this, this whole bunch of information is by performing multiple queries on databases. So think of it as like a puzzle. You're gonna perform multiple queries and you have a whole bunch of puzzle pieces. And when you put the puzzle pieces together, it reveals a picture. And that picture is something sensitive, you're not supposed to know it. So what it actually does, is combine raw data together to reveal something that you're not supposed to know. So how are we actually gonna stop aggregation? Well, this first step right here, this should be treated as a sensitive function. We wanna limit how many databases certain people can query. So if we actually block some of these aggregate search functions on databases, we can actually limit and reduce the risk of aggregation. So how does this process compare with inference? Well, in inference, it takes an extra step, something called deduction. So remember in aggregation, when we had those puzzle pieces, pieces and they came together and they formed a very clear picture. Well, in inference, those puzzle pieces came together, but the picture wasn't very clear. We had to guess or we had to deduce. We had to sort of do this extra step to learn something sensitive. So I'll give you an example. I was talking to my buddy, Matt, and I said, you know, she, she likes you. And he said, how do you know? And well, you know, she didn't tell me. I'm not supposed to know that sensitive piece of information, but I said, you know, she blushes every time she talks to you. She held the elevator for you so you guys could ride down together. And she made up that weird excuse just to get your phone number. All things which taken by themselves don't really mean much or aren't sensitive, but when I put it together, look for trends, do this extra step of deduction, I can learn something I'm not supposed to know. So, just remember, inference is basically the same thing as aggregation, where you're combining raw data, but it takes that extra step of deduction. Now, by the way, I was kind of, I was just kidding. Nobody likes my buddy Matt, because he's not a CSSP. But V, once you're a CSSP, people are definitely gonna like you. So I hope this was helpful. I hope this helped answer your question. And do keep in mind in our CyberVista courses, we have office hours and we have tutoring sessions. So you can ask any burning question that you have basically at any time to a certified instructor. So we'll see you next week and we'll see you in class.